you get me stars Bella Thorne as Holly, the crazy lady character of the thriller. Best known for her role on Disney Channel Shake It Off. Opposite Sandhya, who is gearing up for a major moment with her role in Spider-Man Homecoming. Thorne could be carving out an interesting career for herself. She's also appeared in Adam Sandler Blended, and the surprisingly great teen comedy, The Duff, and recently starred in the Freeform series, Famous in Love. But with this new Netflix film in the world now, she should expect a lot more offers to play demented damsels, because she is great at it. If you've seen this story once, you've seen it a million times. Tyler Taylor John Smith is a sensitive teen, and we know this because he spends a lot of time with his younger sister. He meets Allison Halston Sage and it is love. At first sight. Oh, but when the two bump into her ex at a party and he learns she's, to quote Britney Spears, not that innocent, they go on to break up via a flimsy argument and we were on a break. But what would you know, Holly pulls up at just the right moment, whisking Tyler away for the night of his life. It would simply be false to say it's not sexy as they drive away with the top down. But the second he allows her to grab his phone and take it away from him, that's when the moment loses you. Come on, no one lets a stranger take their phone, no matter how pissed they are that their girlfriend just broke their very fragile ego. The two go on to irate their worries away to EEM in flashes of colorful strobe lights, as Holly Tong passes a pill to Tyler and promises him, if you swallow, I'll swallow. She makes good on her word in the bathroom presumably and the next morning they're waking up in a house that looks like an Apple store, with her lounging in only a full face of makeup, her underwear the first of many times and his shirt size, cliché, purin. You found me. No two ways about it, she knows how to suck him in. Anyone who has had the one night stand will tell you they spend the next day or three showering it off, not living in the fantasy world these two create over the next 24 hours, chatting by the fire her in underwear and cardigan. Having a picnic outside, taking the inevitable skinny dip, having this conversation, soothe, last night happened. Yeah, I guess it did. But perhaps the most unreasonable detail lies in the fact that he's having so much fun that he never charges his phone. Really? That's even less believable than the fact that neither of these teens yes, teens have a parent within the 100 mile radius. Tyler comes to his senses and heads home but not before telling Holly that their time together was special alert. Alert. And is shooting desperate texts to Allison, with the two of them reacquainting the next morning, and quickly dropping more albums than week 8 of The Bachelor. But if you think that is shocking, just wait until they show up at school to realize, gasp, Holly has transferred to their school. She wastes no time infiltrating the friend group and bringing Tyler to the verge of tears and anxiety shakes every time she in his sight holding their night flash day of passion over his head while clinging on to both him and Allison. Suspicion starts to build when she says she erased her online presence a year ago due to a cleanse, and friends start to get a feeling about her. Holly continues to manipulate Tyler, Allison, and anyone else she comes into contact with, as the film builds to an ending so obvious it's almost shocking. Not shocking though, is Thorne strutting around in her undergarments for the climax of the film.